Katie and welcome to my channel. This is um, Learn with Katie and I will be sharing graphic design tutorials using the tools that I use when I create projects for myself, for my family, and for my clients. So today we are going to talk about Isil. Um, Isil.com is one of the browser-based graphic design tools which I always use together with Canva, Get Stencils, Napa.com, and the likes. Now, Isil is one of my top favorites because it has modern templates and it's really easy to use. So what you are looking at right now is the Isil interface. And um, before we get started, let me just talk to you um, and share with you my Facebook page and my Instagram account so that you can follow and so that you can check other tutorials that I've posted before. So just look for KT Paper Designs. Just type that on the search bar and you will find my Facebook page and my Instagram account as well. So if you have questions, feel free to post on any um, item that I've already posted or you can always send me a personal message, a PM, or a direct message on Instagram or a DM. And I'll make sure to um, reply to you as soon as I can. Also, you can subscribe to my newsletter, which I send out on a monthly basis. And um, it's always on the first or the second day of the month. Um, you can do so by going to bit.ly forward slash Katie News underscore sign up. I'm going to post that in the description box of this tutorial. So let's get started. Now, I created a fresh account on Isil so that I can show you what you would expect as soon as you sign up for an account. So as soon as you sign up for an account, you will be led to this window and it will show you that you have been upgraded to a trial period for the second level account, which is technically the paid account, and that will be good for 30 days. That you can see right here on the top right corner. And then um, you will see that your interface would have an empty space because you have not created any project yet. And a pop-up window will appear, which will actually lead you to a tutorial. We will do that and we will undergo through the tutorial together so that um, you don't you can just skip this when you sign up for an account. Okay, are you ready? So this is just a two minute walkthrough to learn all you need to create pro looking graphics. So let's click. Let's get started. And pardon for my rather slow internet connection today. Um, but here you go. We can get started. So it says click, click, double click on the text box to start editing the words. So you just have to double click it. All right. And we can type something. Uh, maybe let's try um, make a lemonade. Okay. Now we have changed the text to make a lemonade. And then click continue. Now it says here, let's customize the image. Now you don't have to worry if you see an image with a watermark because um, it only does that on preview. But once you download the image already, you won't be seeing this watermark right here um, sprawled over the image. Now click on the image to begin. Okay, and now we are going to search for images on the library um lemons okay now the library is working so that we can um put something on our um project let's just search you will see here you will notice that most of if not some of the images have a dollar amount to it that means that's premium so you have to pay for that if you wanted to use the image and some don't have anything so right now this is i think this is the image that um is in here so maybe we can use this 
as you can see, there's no dollar amount associated with the image. So that means we are free to use this. We just have to click on the plus sign. And then the image will appear. Okay. So we can also drag it. It says here we can drag. So let's just delete this. And we can drag to replace. I'm not sure why. It's not letting me replace it. So let me just delete it again. If I double click it, let's see what happens. I think it's a tutorial that's hindering me to do that. So let's just say we have replaced the image already. And I'm going to show you later um, how to replace the image when there's no automatic tutorial that pops up. Okay. So let's just imagine that we have replaced the image already. But you get the point. We just have to drag the image. So drag and drop or double click it so that you can position it yourself so let's see how to change the color of a graphic so let's click on this and then look at the top left corner and you will see the color picker you just have to click that and then if you know the hex code of the exact shade that you wanted to use then you can pick that but um right now i don't have anything on my mind um let's just pick a random number um let's <laughs> okay it's really it's really the the tutorial that's hindering me from um giving you the complete instruction so let's just go along with it and let's create a new project in a bit so just click on download if you want to download your work and then you choose either png or jpeg um since there's a text in here i would recommend to use png okay and then click continue once complete all right there you go the the file has downloaded so let me go ahead and look for that in my files where i chose for those files to load here you go now this is the finished project now like i, sh I mentioned earlier um, there is no watermark anymore when you download the image. Okay, so that's how you create um, an, a project using SL. Now we're done with this. So we are going to go ahead and create our own design using any of the templates inside the SL interface. So we can just go to click my designs and you will see that you will have your first project already okay and then click new design if you want to work on something and then the templates will appear see what i told you there are so many templates that look so modern and that, are, that look so nice and really it's ready for you um to post it somewhere you just have to click and change some of the settings and you can post them on your instagram or your facebook and or any other social media um where you want to post this so this specific template are for instagram um i want to create some something for instagram stories so we are gonna search for that right here um if you don't these are actually the common projects that's that's why they are on top now if you don't see any template here that corresponds to the project that you want to create then you can go here where it says sizes or you can also go to events or you can also go to things so if you want a food promotion you have to go here if you want a kids promotion you have to go here and if you need a motivational code okay just a little intermission from my little um little daughter because she, she wants to hug and kiss yeah okay so mama is talking so i'm gonna talk to you later okay? okay all right all right so let's get let's go bye, ahead and mom. bye let's go ahead and choose a template that we are going to use since it's christmas time right now maybe we can pick this one all right so the template will load and we will edit it all right so it's now here now i think i want a white um background so let's choose uh let's change first this one okay i think i want it more festive so i'm gonna choose red and then for the background i'm gonna choose white 
All right, and then for the text, I think I'm going to add some textiles to it. But let's go ahead and put this. Okay. Let me just edit this. I don't know why I cannot move. There you go. I can move it now. I'm just going to return this back. So don't be scared if something does not go along as planned. <laughs> so if you want to change this, um, just highlight it. Okay. And then choose a font that you like. So SL has a lot of fonts as well, but I'm not sure. Oh, there you go. It's loading now. Um, let's see what font to use. Uh, that one's pretty bold. <laughs> okay, let's see this one. So just choose, okay, until you find the perfect font that you think will be best for your project. And then just go ahead and adjust. And I think the reason why we cannot move the font earlier is because um, this one is on top. That's why we cannot click on this. So I think this is looking better right now, but I think we can still make it better. So let's go ahead and look for um, some icons maybe or some illustrations. So this is for resizing. So um, remember, you can only use this um, if you have a, an upgraded account, which you have right after you subscribe for an account because it auto, the, the tool actually automatically um, upgrades your account to the paid one. So you will have that for one month. And then you will be reverted back to the free account if you will not subscribe for the upgraded version so i'm going to discuss the pricing as well i'm gonna link it in the description box below so you will have a reference so maybe we can add and i'm not sure if i'm going to add an image but one good thing about um isil is that it has available png images and there's also an option for you to upload so if you have some christmasy stuff to add to this if say for example you will try to create this exact template then you can um, just click on choose files but i'm not sure why it's not loading right now it's probably my connection let's see if we can pair up with something so let's type christmas let's see if something appears that would look nice here i think this is nice and then we can actually angle it and adjust. So maybe it can go here and let, let's make it smaller. Okay, what else can we put? I want to put a Christmas ball so that it kind, it kind of hangs here. So let's adjust the size and probably we can adjust the color combination as well. I'm not digging the purple color, so uh, yeah, that's nice. Um, element colors we can change. So if you want to change the element colors, you just have to click it so that it will appear and then... Hmm, the green one would be nice or this the lighter one is nicer because it it matches and maybe i will change the star also to white okay now that looks better okay so i think this is better now um it it looks a little bit different than the first the template and if you actually that's one of the secrets if you don't want your creation to look like everybody else's then you have to tweak your the template a bit so that when you upload it it's not it doesn't look the same as what your friend did as well <laughs> okay so when you post your um, project make sure that you choose other design elements other than the one i chose so it's not exactly uh so it doesn't actually look like the one i created okay so there you go now let's go and um see if we can check on the pricing what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna um 
lag out. Oh, by the way, you can change the photo in your profile. And um, you will see your subscription is already a plus and it's on a trial mode. So we are just going to log out. Um, don't worry, the project is saved. Then let's discuss the pricing so that you are aware. Um, when you are when you sign up so let me just be clear we are looking at usd dollars right here when you sign up you will be automatically upgraded to the plus account which is um 750 if billed on a monthly basis um if you are on the edge account which is like the pro or platinum and other um editing tools um that's 59 dollars per month um, and it's actually billed monthly as well. Now, once your trial period is over, you will be reverted to free account, um, which has the following features. You will still have access to high quality templates, free graphic elements, free stack image range. Um, you can still organize your layers and groups and you can upload um, your own images and then it's very cost effective you can um, just pay per use of stack images you won't be surprised after downloading that you will be charged because it will tell you immediately once you um, once you are searching for the photo that you will use that it it will be charged like when we were searching for a photo earlier um, it actually showed us that some of the photos are worth one dollar all right and you can also still use text effects or the drop shadow and glow so uh, this one this is one of the my favorite features of sl aside from the layers of course because that's that's the primary reason why my favorite graphic design um tool is still photoshop because of the layers so um you just read along just go to about.sl.com slash pricing and i'm gonna again i'm gonna link this down below so you can go ahead and review so you can prioritize what kind of um subscription you want to continue after your trial period is over all right now you can comment as well um, what tutorials you want me to make I can make animations I can um, teach you how to create GIF files I can I can teach you how to create amazing Facebook covers and all that stuff but please uh, um, subscribe so that you can be updated when I post videos because I, I plan to make this as a regular the whole this 2019 I'll make sure that I'm going to spread the word um, for wonderful graphic designing so that there would be one less ugly invitation or one less ugly graphic design project around. All right. So again, um, this is Katie from, from Learn with Katie. I hope you learned something new today and don't forget to subscribe. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.